couple of people have asked me for a walk through for the um, mega tree so I'm just going to give a quick take overview of, of all the bits involved um, starting with the software um, I use a piece of software called X lights it's open source um, available for download um, you can load in uh, music into it uh, define your let's say if you have your layout here so you can define a layout so for example I want to add in another mega tree I click mega tree and I add a mega tree and over here I can change how many strips and so on and that's um, a very powerful piece of software uh, once you have the layout defined uh, you define your setup where your your outputs so I have a couple of pixel strips there with um, the Wemos D1 Mini which we'll see physically in a while um, you map your devices onto your layout and then you play a sequence so you can load up a piece of music and then you have various um, different patterns for different bars in the song and it can automatically detect bars in the song so for example if I click play there you can see there we're actually playing the pattern and we get a preview of what the tree will look like um, that can be actually the whole scene it can be multiple devices some people have very very complex setups anyway it's a great piece of software but one of the other little things I have here is um, an FM radio which plugs let me just stop the music an FM transmitter which transmits about 100 to 200 feet um, outside the house I have a 75 centimeter wire connected it's just a piece of wire and once I connect that into the USB on the PC uh, it transmits at a predefined frequency which I've set to 87.8 which there's nothing else in the area on that frequency uh, so I can broad that broadcast the music to the front road so that um, people outside my house can tune in on the radio and in fact the start of the sequence um, if you see the very very start of the sequence is telling people to tune to 87.8 FM so that plays a couple of times at the start and then it goes on to play the rest of the sequence in the, uh, the show so that's the software um, let's now take a look at the hardware we'll go outside okay, so this is the uh outdoor during the daytime it's not as pretty as it is during the night um, let's take a closer look so um, physically it's a steel pole up the middle with the semicircle um, the LED strips are tied onto the top and loops for the signal between each strip as required and um, the guy wires are literally blue rope I did drill hold for one of them in the front pathway but that can come up uh, when Christmas when I take down the decorations the other guy wires are simply uh, steel uh, poles uh, hammered down into the ground so there's four of those and um, so the steel wire it's a steel pole but it's actually I was using conduit initially but it was way too weak uh, so I put a steel pole up the middle uh, much better <coughs> so the strips are WS2811 uh, strips are the kind of ones which one chip controls three lights so when I thought I was uh, gonna have to control 2400 pixels it actually turns out I only have to control 800 pixels and um, because one pixel it maps onto three LEDs um, so at the top it's attached at the bottom it's just tie wrapped onto a bit of conduit with a bungee cord to give it a bit of stretch uh, the bottom is um, a curved um, metal pipe uh, which I've cut at places and bent to give it the curvature that I want for the uh, the tree. Uh, the bungee cords uh, give a bit of tightness and I can rotate them as required. Um, the power supply and signal from the control box comes through these waterproof connectors. They're not great, I think I used the wrong crimp um, so I had lots of problems with reliability. Um, but um, you know when it works it works it works for a while and then it rains and the signal kind of dies on a few of the strips which is kind of annoying <coughs> but um, I'm finding a way to make that better anyway let's so that's all the strips so let's take a look at the power supply the power supply is simply 240 volts AC coming out into a waterproof box uh, with a concrete block to keep it in place 
feeding into some actual waterproof boxes which is actually this which is a 2000 watt power supplies um, with each box has I had four but I only need two so I'm using two microcontrollers they're Wemos D1 minis they're Wi-Fi connecting into um, an access point um, just over in the house there so the access point is just inside the window um, and that those two um, microcontrollers are controlling four strips um, each so there are 16 strips in all so four microcontrollers two in this box and two in the other box over there which is another power supply so it turns out that um, these strips don't draw the full amount of power it only draws 60 milliamps per three pixels like normal uh, WS2812B pixels would draw 60 milliamps per pixel but these only seem to draw 60 milliamps per chip so it's a third the power so instead of my calculated 1.6 kilowatts that I needed for the tree it ended up that I only need about 500 watts so I'd probably get away with half of one of these power supplies um, so the power then is fed out um, so there's only two actually feeding out data and the other eight are feeding out 12 volts power out to each strip so the two boxes with the power supplies are simply two waterproof boxes and at the bottom they've got enough holes drilled in to let all of the cables out nothing special um, not even not waterproofed so any ingress will just drip out the bottom but as long as it's at the bottom we're, we should be okay um, so quick look so x lights transmits um, I have it set up to transmit E131 protocol, which the little microcontrollers, these four microcontrollers inside the control boxes are listening for. So x lights transmits the data on E131, the Wemos D1 minis, the microcontrollers convert that um, from the Wi-Fi uh, to the actual data streams that go out to each individual um, uh, strip of pixels. So that's the overview. If I've forgotten anything, um, feel free to ask a question in the comments. Okay, bye.